A simple one-sentence question to read here. What is the hybridization of the central atom in each of the structures below? The term hybridization should immediately get you thinking about sp, sp2, sp3, and so on. To plan your answer, consider the relationship between the number of electron domains and number of hybridized orbitals on the atom. They must, of course, be the same. Since the molecules do not indicate the lone pairs, you must work out how many are needed for the electron domains to correspond to one of the five basic shapes you've learned about. Linear, trigonoplanar, tetrahedral, trigonobipyramidal, or octahedral. Then you can count bonds plus lone pairs and work out the hybridization. We'll begin solving the problem with the molecule at the top left. It already corresponds to one of the five basic shapes, trigonoplanar so we don't need to add any lone pairs. It has three electron domains and hence uses three orbitals. It is sp2. The second molecule does not conform to one of the five basic shapes, but if we add a single lone pair it does, a tetrahedron. Four electron domains, four orbitals, sp3. The third molecule is t-shaped, not one of the five basic shapes and if we add just one lone pair, we'll end up with a square planar molecule, which isn't one of the five shapes either. However, if we add two lone pairs, the five electron domains describe a trigonal bipyramid and require five orbitals, and hence the molecule must be sp3d hybridized. The next molecule, bottom left, also requires two lone pairs, one on either side of the molecule, in order to resemble one of the five shapes. The six electron domains describe an octahedron, and require six orbitals, so the molecule must be sp3d2 hybridized. One lone pair isn't enough, the electron domains would describe a square pyramid. Next up, the seesaw-shaped molecule. One lone pair is enough to make it resemble a trigonal bipyramid. The five electron domains require five hybridized orbitals. sp3d. Finally, we have a tetrahedral molecule. No lone pairs needed four electron domains, four orbitals, sp3 hybridization. Now check over what you've written. A good check is to see if the molecules you've assigned the same hybridization to resemble one another if you include the lone pairs. The two sp3 molecules do, and so do the two sp3d molecules. So we're done.